With the countrywide rollout approaching fast, the government will need to make a concerted effort to convey the message that smart metering is a safe and secure way to make cost savings as well as reduce the carbon footprint of the NHS. Smart meters have the potential to significantly reduce costs for the NHS and utilities alike. The smart metering rollout is opening up a new frontier for utilities companies and for their healthcare consumers. In this programme, we speak to Centarian Wireless Modules, EDF Energy and GE Energy, who tell us about their advanced metering innovations and how they can help the NHS to reduce carbon emissions in their sites. Tim Price, Public Sector Manager at the Carbon Trust, explains how advanced and smart metering can help the NHS manage its energy usage. The Carbon Trust has been working very closely with the NHS since 2006 uh, to help the NHS both to cut costs and cut carbon. Uh, we've worked with 82 NHS trusts on our carbon management programme to date and we're working with another 34 this year which is the largest number we've ever worked with in one year. Uh, we also have very close relations with the NHS Sustainable Development Unit and the Department of Health and we talk a lot to them in terms of how the Carbon Trust can best help the NHS to cost-effectively meet this agenda. Centarian wireless modules are, in simple words, a manufacturer of communication modules for the machine-to-machine -machine communication business. Those modules make machines sending their data to other machines or to control centers. And in the other way around, we send information to the machine that they perform actions as necessary. But more precise, Centarian Wireless Modules started its business 15 years ago as a business unit of Siemens, called Siemens Wireless Modules. And since two years, we are Centarian Wireless Modules, and our business grew from three products in the beginning to more than 40 award-winning products in our portfolio today. And also, the business, of course, grew from 3 million euro to more than 200 million euro in the last 15 years. We serve different industries like security business, like point of sales ATM business, the metering industry, automotive industries and the next emerging thing in our M2M industry is the healthcare sector. With all the efforts we performed in the last 15 years, we grew vertical markets and this brought us to a clear number one position in our industry. The number one, of course, has to perform as a benchmark leader for other players in this industry and we are very proud of our quality, of our experience in factories and engineering know-how. And last but not least, the global support for our customers is key to make global projects happen in the M2M industries. Based on relevant patents, we build our portfolio into different platform concepts. Each of the platform supports different functions or needs in the application. Be it the latest and greatest HSPA technology or 3G UMTS technology enabling applications to run high-speed wireless data communication or cost-effective feature-rich 2G uh, communication modules that can be used in any type of machine-to-machine -machine communication for simple data transfer. Our services, for example, consist of pre-approved modules. Pre-approved modules means our modules are approved by official bodies as well as mobile network operators around the world. And this gives the benefit for our customer reduced developing costs in their process and speed up in the time to market. Centaria nowadays have more than 30 million modules running in the world, operating in the world. And for the different vertical markets we served in the last 15 years, we gained so much experience, like in the automotive industry, high quality, high reliability, in the security business, secure data transmission, be it in the metering industry, reliable data transmission. And we could use this experience to make a blueprint for the emerging healthcare market. 
We're having great experiences from big rollouts in the AMR business, automatic meter reading in the Nordic countries. Synterion knows how to make successful uh, rollouts. You need to bring in the right partners. You need to make sure that you have the right solutions and provide it to the market. When we rolled out in the Nordics, we rolled out 1.2 million modules during a time period of two years. This led to that the utilities could read the meters on distance remotely and did not have to send out people reading the meters on site, which saves a lot of energy, time and, and environmental advantages. Transferring this into the medical business, you have the same kind of objectives. Having people with heart diseases, blood diseases, lung diseases, you can measure and read the values uh, on distance. The patient doesn't have to go to the hospital and the doctor can take care of several patients instead of focusing on a few ones. This lowers carbon emissions and brings a lot of savings to the hospitals in the world. Implementing M2M solutions is not a matter of fancy engineering capabilities. Good M2M solutions have a clear leadership commitment from corporate or government executives behind. And a strong partner network making those M2M solutions happen. 70% of the M2M solutions today in the market already had their return of invest within the first year. So the business fundamentals are given. Centarion and our expertise in this business and our strong partner network is ready to support NHS to fulfill their commitment by implementing carbon reduction commitment program while they are rolling out advanced metering systems or innovating the healthcare sector with new type of mobile health devices, making people's life easier in future. Guys at St Thomas's Hospital in London worked with the Carbon Trust in 2007 on our NHS carbon management programme and as a result of that put together a carbon management plan with the aim of reducing their carbon emissions by 10% between 2007 and 2011. And in actual fact guys managed to exceed their target substantially and have actually cut their carbon emissions by 20% uh, as of this year. And as a result of implementing these projects, they've also managed to achieve substantial cost savings, which is very helpful at this time of austerity in the NHS. EDF Energy are one of the largest energy companies in the UK and the largest producer of low carbon electricity. We generate around one fifth of the UK's electricity needs and employ 20,000 people across the country. We are part of EDF Group, who have 170,000 employees worldwide. Our nuclear new build division is responsible for developing our new nuclear power plants based on our global programme of delivering safe, affordable, reliable, low carbon electricity. Our energy sourcing and customer supply division runs power stations, wind farms, buys and sells power to meet the generation requirements uh, and we supply gas and electricity to our residential and commercial customers. Finally, our network business operates and maintains our power networks across the UK. Smart meters are a leading part of our commitment to provide a better service for our customers. Smart metering provides our customers with better information about how and when they use their energy, avoid the need for estimated bills and avoid the need for going to site to read meters. External and internal studies have shown that organisations like understanding more about how they use their energy and when they use their energy because it helps them deploy new strategies to save money, reduce their energy consumption and reduce their carbon footprint. We can provide organisations with all the metering expertise they require through our smart metering and half hourly metering programmes. We can also provide comprehensive training and support to help our customers monitor and optimise their energy usage. Smart meters give you more control and provide many benefits. They avoid data collection issues, provide accurate bills because there's no need to estimate bills. They give you opportunity for better budgeting and give you a better understanding of how and when you use your energy. 
We can also provide web-based energy management software to our customers to help them better understand their energy usage patterns. We can even provide email alerts to identify any abnormally high usage. We have successfully completed many major smart metering projects from organisations from both the public and private sector, many of whom are household names. We're just about to embark on the third phase of a major smart metering programme for a major water company involving 3,000 smart meters. This is having already installed over 1,700 meters in phases one and phases two. The very nature of their business means that we're used to dealing with very large, complex sites that operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Very similar, I suspect, to the health sector. EDF Energy is leading the energy change in the UK. We're one of the few companies in our sector that is involved in energy production at every step, from the moment it's harnessed to the second it's used. We're a very large and diverse business, so clearly keeping everyone focused on a single mission can be very challenging. That's why we've developed a set of shared operating principles, values and ambitions, but it's really important that we strike the right balance in everything that we do. EDF Energy goes above and beyond social and environmental obligations set out by the government. Three years ago, we launched our environmental commitments, and earlier this year, we relaunched them as our sustainability commitments following our acquisition of British Energy. We will continue to make the huge investments required to meet our future responsibilities for the communities we serve and the environment we share. We're able to provide our customers with a complete in-house package, providing not only energy, but metering technology and installation designed to help our customers monitor and manage their energy consumption. It is the government's stated intention that all organisations, businesses and households will have smart metering by 2020. We are actively supporting this initiative, empowering people to make the best use of their energy and reduce their costs. We can play our part in helping the health sector design and implement smart metering technology aimed at optimising their energy costs, reducing their carbon emissions, whilst ensuring a first-class installation and maintenance programme. People can find out more about the Carbon Trust either by visiting our website at carbontrust.co.uk or by phoning our advice line number on 0800 085 2005. G Energy is a 130-year-old company, which is part of the GE General Electric Company, which was founded by Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb. So obviously we've been around electricity for a very long time. And today we have a huge install base of almost 14,000 machines around the world in different power plants. We started with our first one in 1901 with the first steam turbine installed. Today we have evolved, we are producing wind turbines, solar panels, so today for example we have about 14,000 wind machines around the world that are producing clean electricity. So GE is a company that has a very, very strong heritage, not only in the US where it was founded, but also here in the UK where we came here to the UK in 1930, so we've been here also for a significant amount of time. Uh, we, from a GE perspective, we have almost 20,000 employees. G Energy makes up almost 4,000 of those here in the UK, and we have a lot of great businesses that not only serve the UK, but also serve the globe. Smart Grid is uh, about marrying the physical transmission and networks that we've got today to transmit and distribute electricity with internet technology, uh, with automation technology. So the whole idea of Smart Grid is how do you manage that network more effectively and automatically. Uh, today, a lot of the parts of that network is, is really through mechanical, if you will, uh, and human control. What we want to do is make sure that it is fully automated. Why that is important? Because it allows us to get more efficiencies out of the existing network as we put more of a burden on it. Uh, for example, today we see more electrification. Probably in the next 20 to 30 years, the amount of electric vehicles is going to increase substantially. So how do you make sure that the existing infrastructure can handle all of that increased demand is going to be extremely important. 
So we think that that the 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 importance of a smart grid uh, is going to be all about getting more with uh, the existing infrastructure. And the other piece, which is also as important, is the fact that we are going to be able to empower consumers. So at home, you are going to be able to better understand your electricity usage. You're going to be able, through smart meters, to have a two-way communication between yourself and the utility. The utility will be able to better understand how you use electricity. In some cases, they will be able to manage, for example, how some of your appliances are going to be operated, your fridge, for example, what time of the day uh, with the compressor of that refrigerator would be turned on, something that the utility could eventually uh, control remotely and automatically uh, without the intervention of, of the consumer. All in uh, for the benefit of reducing energy usage and also for reducing your overall personal carbon footprint. GE has a legacy in terms of products and services, especially in the transmission and distribution area. Uh, I mentioned earlier that GE has many businesses that are based here in the UK. Uh, some of these businesses are based in places like Cambridge and Livingston, where we have global businesses that help in terms of the automation of the grid infrastructure. Uh, so we do have an array of, of hardware and software products that allows the integration of all of the different pieces of the transmission and distribution network. Uh, the key piece which we are very much focused on today is the smart meter. And the reason why the smart meter is important is because the, it's the last bit of the overall infrastructure which allows you to have a complete view of what's happening with, um, uh, with the consumption of, of the electricity at the consumer level. So today we offer an array of smart meters both for consumers as well as industrial applications and obviously all of these smart meters uh, are uh, integrated with the rest of the infrastructure in order to allow both the consumer and the utility to better manage the, the usage of, uh, of energy. Our mission is to provide technology that is going to make a difference in our world. The technology that GE Energy provides today is really all about making a significant uh, difference in improving lifestyles and improving the quality of life for people at large. Uh, so we've launched a couple of years ago, or actually I should say five years ago, we've launched the Eco Imagination campaign, which is all about investment and focus on uh, green products, products and services that are going to help with our environment. Most recently, we've launched our Healthy Imagination campaign, which is to provide affordable health care to more people around the world uh, and to reach more people. So I think these two campaigns are an example of our commitment and our belief that we should continue to innovate and to invest in what's going to make a difference for, for example, institutions like the NHS for governments around the world as they are faced with the challenge of uh, more resource, more people that are obviously looking for health care, looking for energy. So our commitment to governments and to the NHS is that we're going to continue to play uh, an important part in terms of evolving technology to support their requirements and their objectives of uh, providing better health care more affordable to more people around the UK. GE's slogan is about imagination at work. So we believe our imagination is very much hard at work in order to help in meeting the challenges related to the healthcare industry as well as the energy industry. Smart metering technology will start to change the relationship between NHS facilities and the supplier. With increasingly detailed data on energy usage and better visibility on exactly where money is being spent, NHS facilities will be better positioned to challenge suppliers to improve the products they provide and help them save money. I'm Georgina Burnett and you've been watching Advanced Metering Within the NHS.